So the first thing I like to do is when I have a horse that's very, very heavy, my, my goal is that I can get him to connect and step into his left rein. How do I start that? We talk about the four channels of throughness. Left hind leg steps into my left rein, right hind leg steps into my right rein, and when I have that alignment and I feel I can send the horse's energy up into the rein, I can diagonalize my aids for an inside leg to outside rein and an outside leg into my inside rein, okay? So when we talk about inside leg to outside rein, for me that's only one fourth of the whole entire picture. And because I have a horse that's like, you know, like hanging down into that uh, right side, I know I want to help him connect over to my left rein. But the question becomes, why does he hang on the right rein, right? Is it a right hind leg that doesn't want to step into the right rein? Is it a right hind leg that doesn't want to step over to the left rein? Is it the left hind leg that doesn't really take weight into the left rein, therefore he just takes all his weight onto the right front? Is it the left hind leg causing that diagonal brace as well? You know, a lot of times we talk about, oh, it's always, you know, the, the diagonal leg, right? It's, oh, it's always the, if it's a strong right rein, uh, it's usually the left hind leg. That, that can be true, but not always. So I like to just take my time and start from the beginning because what I want to help this horse do, because he wants to over contact on the right rein, I always want to help him not feel me on the right and, and let him kind of experience what it feels like to feel me on the left side of the corner of his mouth. So when I just kind of pick up contact here, I start to ask him a little bit about this left hind leg that's where I begin, right? If I've got an over-contacted right rein, I want to ask the horse, can you step into my left rein better? And the way I always, always start with that is I start with the left hind leg stepping into the left rein. That's like the first basic thing, you know, part of the, the waiting, yielding, bending on the bit video with Montana. You know, I want to always feel like I can ask that horse to step that left hind leg and I want to like help him like finish the curve and I want him to be able to feel comfortable landing onto my onto my left rein. Of course uh, Dom Perrineau also has a bit of a tongue issue and so him chewing on the bit is also very very important. So again I start to feel a little left time left time left time left time, left seat bone left elbow. I want to be able to give this right rein and say, are you okay? 